June 26th. Thought I'd give you all an update on second crop. It's looking very, very good. Especially after I put my fertilizer on. I went back in and sprayed uh, probably two, three weeks ago. Kill out some horse nettle. Looking like I missed a few spots, but I see the majority of it that I got, so that's awesome. We're gonna head on down here to the part next to the creek. As you see, we've got our weed eater on. We're gonna see if we can take care of some problems. I have some Johnson grass that's wanting to come up in a few spots down here, and I've heard really a remedy to take care of it is if it's constantly grazed, it seems like it will like it can't handle being constantly grazed. So what we're trying this year, since I don't really have that many spots, I'm going back every week or so, and I'm weed eating pretty much the Johnson grass clumps in the ground. So we'll ride down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I see a spot right here where I missed my spray, but it happens. Can't win them all. Now the Johnson grass is pretty obvious how different it is. When you walk through the field, you can see bits and pieces of it coming up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk around and we're gonna hit these spots down with the weed eater real quick, and I'll show you what we look like afterwards. Now you may be asking, why am I doing this? Johnson grass makes awesome feed. You're messing up. Once Johnson grass can start in a field, it literally takes it over and smothers out everything else. Now, of course, there's better options to this if you're a large scale hay producer. They make this thing called a weed wipe but you have to pretty much uh, let it get pretty tall before it works. Here's a pretty good spot of it. A weed wipe basically is like paper towels, or I've even seen some that's like wick. Uh, you fill your spray up with Roundup and it's just supposed to wipe the Johnson grass plant and kill it without killing any other type of grass. But around here, Johnson grass is real bad in creek bottoms, which is what I have. And like I said, if you don't take care of it somehow or another, it'll choke out fescue or any other type of grass you got. So, so we're gonna try this method. Now just because this works for my operation don't mean it'll work for yours. I'm only doing like 14 acres of square, so that's all I'm putting up. So it's real easy for me just to go around, walk, and get what needs to be cut down. If you're trying to put up 100 plus acres of squares and you're trying to do this, it probably really wouldn't work the best. Okay, so this next part of the video is gonna be a little windy. I know some of you guys was looking for a garden video part two. This is gonna be it. I actually got a late start on my garden. I ended up working it up again, laying it off again, whole nine yards. Sometimes life just gets in the way. I ended up putting out, I believe there's eight tomato plants, half a row of okra, five squash plants, one, two, three, four, five rows of peaches and cream, four rows of white half runners, and two rows of uh, peanut beans, and five cucumber plants. Now, I've went ahead and I've chopped out that first row because I can't get my tractor in there to plow. It's still a little wet. We had a ton of rain last week. Um, then we even had just a little bit yesterday. And I know you're not really supposed to plow when it's wet because it could cause compaction, but I wanna get to it before it gets any worse than this. You can kind of see out there, there's already a couple places that's already pretty high. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up my cultivators and I'll see if I can get you some videos cultivating. And then we'll have to go back through and we'll have to chop where the cultivator missed, so. Oh yeah, for you guys that uh, commented about the breather plug on the back of these tractors, actually I took it out. Someone had actually been into the final drive and they had not put the breather plug where it was supposed to be. 
but there's actually a bolt in there that has a hole through it and then it's teed on the outside so air could pass through. Someone had put RTV around that uh, final drive cover there and they had just shoved the bolt in. I took the bolt out and it was covered up with RTV. So hopefully that's the fix. Thank you all for commenting. I don't know about your farm, but it seems like I do a lot of pin robbery around here. So I still have my layoff plows on this little tractor. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my cultivators and we'll get to it. Okay, so I have the cultivators hooked up. I've closed them in a little more uh, where the corn's tall enough. I'm not worried about covering it up. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if we can start plowing. Now, normally, like I said earlier in the video, I wouldn't plow this wet because of compaction but I'm hoping where the tractor is light enough that what compaction occurs, the cultivators can break it up. I just have to see, like I said, I just had some time today and wanted to get it done while I could. So don't rag on me too hard. All right, now the goal with cultivating is to make sure the center of your tractor is always in the center of that row. Got our corn all plowed up. We're gonna have to go through and clean a couple of them up. I see some dirt clods that fell on them. Sure, beans be the same way.
so we're kind of in the process of getting the four-wheel drive ready to take those wheels off so stay tuned because we are going to start back on the 1210 i finally got the belt and everything back together uh, that'll be another video uh, but just kind of giving you all a heads up okay we got most of it chopped out i'm not really going to chop much of my beans they're not that bad but the corn was getting pretty grassy so we've got the hardest part out of the way now we're going to go work on the tomato plants uh, first we're going to go get some refreshments oh yeah so we took us a little refreshment break now we're going to go over here and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with my tomatoes some of my people on here that's pretty big case pocket knives will know that that's a pretty rare piece right there I never saw one before and that's the reason that I bought it. That is a rough black double X spear point jack. The old knife would clean up pretty good and it's probably too nice of a knife or too odd of a knife to be carrying and use it. But I'm selling a lot of them because I just never carry them. Okay, now these, I guess as odd as it sounds, these are trellis racks that they have at funeral homes. And these have been collected from family members and friends who have passed away that's had blankets and stuff like that hung on them. And instead of people just throwing them away, they make a really, really good tomato plant trellis. So, as you can tell here too, um, I plowed a little close and knocked that one over. We'll go ahead and set it up. I tried using a newspaper uh, to try to act like a weed barrier and what I can tell it works pretty good but I wish I would have just put more down so that's my only issue what we're going to do we're going to tie these up and I'm going to show you what they look like after we've tied them up now these are still a little short to exactly tie up the way that I want them to but I've made just a really loose loop around the stem of the plant and then I've tied a pretty tight one up here now you want to make sure that you leave a loose loop because if you tie it tight then it'll constrict the plant and won't let it to expand or won't let it expand out so by doing this we're keeping the plant growing in a straight up direction and hopefully once it gets a little bigger then we can start tying off the limbs to these side triangles here i done that last year and it worked out really really good all right well here we have our garden we've got our tomatoes roped up we got all of our rows chopped out. Now, once again, I know it was wet. Don't don't beat up on me too hard, YouTube comments. Just wanted to get it done and try to get it out of the way while I had some time. Stay tuned, and I'll see if I can put you some updates. Sorry I didn't get any videos of it planting it. Um, didn't really think about it. Just kind of wanted to get it done. So this is a little update. Hopefully we can get back in a little bit, and we'll see how it's doing. Thank you all for watching.